Gen 6 series, uh, looking at or revising school subjects and talking about your timetable. Each slide is going to last about 11 seconds, uh, approximately, to analyse um, and build up sentences and so on. Um, that is the art we are, that we are trying to uh, recreate here, ladies and gents. Okay, so six sentences come out. First one. At school, I would say that my favourite subject is PE because I'm strong in sport. So we're going to deal with these uh, five parts in turn. So we're going to deal with A first of all, okay, which is au collège, at school. Alternatively, we can have uh, à l'école. So we've got au collège, okay, à l'école. Two alternatives translate at school here. Okay, now... I would say that, conditional here, je dirais que. Alternative ways of opinion, I think that, je pense que, à mon avis, in my opinion, je crois que, I believe that, are alternative ways of saying that. So, collège, je dirais que, my favourite subject, ma matière préférée. So, ma, feminine, that's the noun there, the uh, adjective over here, e to show agreement with the fact that it's feminine over here. So, ma matière préférée. Right. Is PE because, literally, it's PE because is say le PS pasca or say le PS car. So, car, an alternative way of saying because, ladies and gents. I am strong in, je suis fort, on, means I am strong in, masculine. Add on an E if uh, female speaking, je suis fort, en sport. Okay, you hear the T. Okay, so the whole thing together. Au collège, je dirais que ma matière préférée, c'est le PS, parce que je suis forte en sport. Feminine speaker, given away by the fact that you got an E on the end over here. Right, number two, ladies and gents. For me, maths is difficult because the fact, sorry, despite the fact that my teacher is very good. Okay, for, okay. so for me, pour moi, according to me, selon moi, in my opinion, and mon avis, these are different ways of saying it, okay? So, uh, think of these alternatives to the one we've actually got here as well. Um, now, maths is difficult. Les maths, the maths, it's difficult, literally. C'est difficile. Les maths, c'est difficile. Les maths, c'est barbon, it's boring. Uh, les maths, c'est ennuyeux, another way of saying boring. Okay, despite the fact that, an alternative to using because, malgré le fait que, despite the fact that, Malgré le fait que, all right, so, my teacher is mon prof A, so my teacher is mon prof A, female teacher would be simply ma prof A, so no change to prof itself, okay, um, and very good is très bien, so mon prof est très bien, my teacher is very good, okay, malgré le fait que mon prof est très bien, despite the fact that my teacher is very good, okay. Putting it all together there, ladies and gents. Uh, pour moi, les maths c'est difficile, malgré le fait que mon prof est très bien. Okay, so that is the equivalent of this in French, ladies and gents. Moving on, number three. I also like French because it's easy and the teacher is funny. Not talking about me then. He makes us laugh a lot. Okay, so um, I also like French. Literally, I like also, j'aime aussi le français. Could have also said aussi, j'aime le français, but never put aussi here between the je and the m. Okay? So, j'aime aussi le français, because it's easy. Parce que c'est facile. Okay? Because it's easy. Facile, easy. Parce que c'est intéressant, because it's interesting. Um, parce que c'est utile. Because it's useful. Okay? And the teacher is funny. Et le prof est marron, amusant. Alternative there as well. Et le prof est marrant. And the teacher is a funny. Okay, get that in there. Now, he makes us laugh. So, he, us, makes laugh. So, the object pronoun comes here. Il nous fait rire. He makes me laugh would be il me fait rire, for example. Okay. Beaucoup means a lot. So, il nous fait rire beaucoup. He makes us laugh a lot. He, us, makes laugh a lot. Okay. Subject pronoun, object pronoun. And then the verb, ladies and gents. Put it all together. J'aime aussi le français parce que c'est facile. Et le prof est marrant. Il nous fait rire beaucoup. He makes us laugh a lot. Nice phrase there to learn. Okay, number four. I am not gifted at sciences. And therefore, in my opinion, we have too much homework. So, deal with I am not, first of all. So, I am, je suis. 
Uh, I am not. Je ne suis pas. So the negative wrapping around the verb here. There's the verb there, ladies and gents. Okay. Je ne suis jamais. I am never. Okay. Alternative. Now, gifted is doué. And on E, uh, someone female speaking. So, je ne suis pas doué en science. I am not gifted at science. So, doué means gifted. Right. And therefore, a donc. Okay, so a donc, and therefore, je ne suis pas doué en science et donc, I am not gifted in science, and therefore, okay, in my opinion, à mon avis, selon moi, alternatively, okay, so, à mon avis, we have too much homework. Now, we have two ways of uh, doing we have, let's use on a, the most commonly used one, which is, literally one has, trop de, too much, Devoir homework. On a trop de devoir. We have too much homework. So, on a, we have. So, put it all together. Je ne suis pas doué en science. Et donc, à mon avis, on a trop de devoir. Okay, ladies and gents. So, that is number four. Number cinq, number five. I think that German is very useful. And I, have, and I love foreign languages in general. Very noble. Right. So, I think that. Je pense que, je trouve que, so you've got je pense que, je trouve que, je crois que, these are alternatives. I would say that, je dirais que, which we had earlier, um, brings in variety, okay? So think of these alternatives. German is useful. The German, actually. L'allemand est très utile. So is very useful. Très utile, meaning very useful. Je pense que l'allemand est très utile. I think that German is very useful. And I love, et j'adore... Alternative, et j'aime, I like, j'aime bien, I really like, okay, always think of uh, alternatives, okay. Now, foreign languages is literally the languages foreign, les langues étrangères, étrangères, meaning foreign, stranger, you can put an S there, you got the word stranger. Now, in general, en général, so en général, uh, means that is j'adore les langues étrangères en général, and I love foreign languages in general. Right, put it all together. Je pense que l'allemand est très utile et j'adore les langues étrangères en général. Okay, so uh, look at number six. I am weak at English and I find it boring. The teacher criticizes us all the time. So weak. I'm feeble, so it's, uh, the French word is very similar to uh, feeble in English. So, je suis faible, c'est ça, ici, mesdames et messieurs. Je ne suis pas faible, I am not weak. Okay, now it's going to be en anglais, je, je suis faible en anglais. Je suis faible en anglais, I'm weak at English. Je suis faible en maths, I'm weak at maths. Je suis faible en français, I'm weak at French, and so on. Okay, so get those uh, words in. And I find it boring. Et je trouve ça, I find it, ennuyeux, boring. Alternatively, we could have used babon. Et je trouve ça babon. Okay, so there we have it. Right, the teacher criticizes us. La prof, nous critique. Notice that object pronoun going before the verb and not after it. The teacher criticizes me. La prof me critique. All the time, the whole time is tout le temps. So, tout le temps, mesdames et messieurs, means all the time. So, la prof nous critique tout le temps. The teacher, us, criticizes all the time. The teacher criticizes all the time. Je suis faible en uh, anglais et je trouve ça en ailleurs. La prof nous critique tout le temps. The teacher criticizes us all the time. Okay, guys. Um, pause video and read. These are some ideas as to how to use this video. Okay, it's just... Um, how I use it, okay. You might want, to, you might have different ideas to what I've just said on there. Uh, that's the answer recording sheet. Person A makes notes on one, three, and five. Person B does two, four, six. Um, so we have that as well. Um, and that's just the rationale as to why I make these videos and the thinking behind in terms of sentence building and focusing on sentence building. All right. So, ladies and gents, that's it. Au revoir.